a chapter a day to brighten your way. Your heart is the best gift you can offer God. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Psalms chapter 50. Asaph was one of the leaders in charge of worship during David's reign, and this is a psalm of teaching written by him. At that time, some among the Israelites may have already distorted the true meaning of sacrifice and worship, thinking that these were simply routines. Some people even wanted to exchange benefits with God by offering sacrifices. God used Asaph to patiently teach the Israelites the concept of true worship. Let's read chapter 50 together. Psalm 50, a psalm of Asaph. The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes, He does not keep silence. Before Him is a devouring fire, around Him a mighty tempest. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth that He may judge His people. Gather to me, my faithful ones, who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare His righteousness, for God Himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, I will testify against you. I am God, your God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you. Your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not accept a bull from your house or goats from your folds. For every beast of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know all the birds of the hills, and all that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and its fullness are mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and perform your vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you shall glorify me. But to the wicked God says, What right have you to recite my statutes, or to take my covenant on your lips? For you hate discipline, and you cast my words behind you. If you see a thief, you are pleased with him, and you keep company with adulterers. You give your mouth free rein for evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother, you slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I have been silent. You thought that I was one like yourself, but now I rebuke you and lay the charge before you. Mark this, then, you who forget God, lest I tear you apart and there be none to deliver. The one who offers thanksgiving as his sacrifice glorifies me. To one who orders his way rightly, I will show the salvation of God. Praise be to God. He created all things and is in charge of all things. So what truly pleased his heart were not the sacrifices of cattle and sheep, but the willingness and gratitude of the people. Dear friends, God has clearly expressed his will for us. If we don't sincerely praise and thank God, then it is futile to offer Him more material things. Let's encourage each other to recalibrate our worship and offerings so that all of our worship comes from the heart and pleases God. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for showing me true worship. I want to worship you with a sincere heart of gratitude. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.